Oh, hey there. Um, it's been a while since we met my good friend Sweepington. <laughs> First off, happy Father's Day. Um, we'll get into that later. <sighs> Damn, this feels good, man. Feels great. Yeah. Take a little seat over there. Talk back with you later. Red Sox Yankees, Father's Day. Let's get into it. Taking on a Red Sox starter here in game one. Oh, right. <laughs> Listen, I don't even know how we did what we did with Caleb Ort back. Oh, brother. Jake Bowers starting. Uh, and then he rips a double. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's what happens when it works on the bump. So look, Glaber Torres following up Bowers and look, he makes errors in the field, but look, when he hits, he hits. Facing Clark Schmidt, bottom second for my boy Christian Arroyo. That, you know Michael K, you about to say that's an A-plus play? That, that was an A-plus play. Look at the scoop. Look at Riz. Okay. Top fifth, and we got Chris Murphy on the bump. Oh, shoot. Nah, that's foul. That's got to be foul. Oh, look at it. My boy got a ball. Hey, hey. No. <laughs> Yo, what's that Jordan quote? That Michael Jordan quote? F them kids, bro. F them. Look at the look at his brother, yo. He's starting to cry now. Oh no! He lost the ball. No. Hey, he got a signed jersey and ball. Look at that. Look, see, only the Red Sox are gonna do that, man. The Red Sox, greatest organization in baseball, man. We go top five. We got the boy Chris Murphy. Come on, man. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Next batter. Ooh, Sabelia. Hello, boy, Murph. Let's go. Bottom five. Dugo gets the leadoff walk for JT. 1-1 one, one count. Mm. That's a smack right there, my boy. That's a smack. Come on, man. <laughs> what, what, what kind of ups was those, my boy? Let's see the hops. <laughs> Bro, come on, my boy. He, he not even getting over two pieces of paper with those hops. Come on, man. What the strength and conditioning coach of the Yankees doing over there, bro? Oh, I forgot to say. That was out of Yankee Stadium for real. Devers. Oh, hey, that'll get a job done. Hey, that'll get a job done. Nice job, Devs. Dude. That's out of Yankee Stadium. Ooh. Whoa. One run comes in to score. Duvall holds up at first. Sox tied at two. Bottom six. You got the boy Kicks. Sharp grounder. Oh, actually a chopper. But hey, look, speed, speed. Speed kills, baby. Then we got Wong following that up. How did he get that one? Ooh. You know what I'm going to say. Oh, and look at Kike with the speed. Save! And they're like, swim where? Dugo, following this up. Uh-oh! Look at this! Come on, man! <laughs> you, you already know what I'm going to say. Then, J.T. Come on, man. There's another hit. Doogie's coming in to score. Save! Socks up 5-2. Bottom seven and pff, macho man, you you know he wasn't gonna go that long without a hit. He's 0 for three, but now he's one for his last one. You know what I'm saying? And now he got speed. Was you listening to what I was saying? How you ain't got no speed? Look at this speed. He's in there like swimwear. A triple for macho man. Next up, Christian Arroyo. And you think Christian Arroyo's getting a hit? No. It is a balk. <laughs> look, look, I'm going to show you what it means to be a balk. Like, look, for those of you that don't know what a balk is, look, he doesn't get set. He literally goes straight from, 
like his wind up or set up into throwing. So you can't do that. For those of you that don't know baseball, I know a lot of people you know what a balk is, but you know, the Yankees always giving people lessons on what not to do. Two outs, DJ, you know, LSU Tiger. Oh my goodness, what a play. Hey bro. Sox take the game one W. Actually, why am I even taking these off? We getting in the game two. Brian Bayo, number 66 on the bump. Glaber Torres with a man on first. Damn. Oh. Come on, Dur Come on, Duran. You got to be better than that, my boy. Keep it in front, my boy. Keep it in front. So next up, Anthony Rizzo, second and third. Yep. You know he's going to do a job. Sevy on the bump today. Jaron Duran leading off the inning. Oh. Okay. That ball was in. Hey, y'all, I didn't watch this game. I watched the first one, but I didn't watch the second one. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. <laughs> Duran. Come on, my boy. Come on. And now Dugo's going to fly out. Not like it would have mattered, but damn. Top second, Oswaldo Cabrera. Liner. Hey! That's why he's in the Hall of Fame. That's why he's the only active Hall of Fame. Pablo Air Pablo Reyes. Yeah, show that again, MLB. That's what I'm talking about, Pablo. Bottom two. Devers on first for Robbie Ref. Oh, what a bunt. Oh, ooh, couldn't handle it. Geeks up next. Oh, yeah. Sneaks it down the third baseline. That's going to be a ribby for Kike and a double for Kike as well. Sox tied up at one. Top third. Rizzo. Oh, my goodness. Wait, no way. No, that's... There's no way. There's no... There's no possible way. There's no possible way. There's no way. That's not who I think it is. I know that ain't who I think it is. Because I knew we won the game 4-1. And I knew that there was a runner on second. It was either going to be a hit or he had to score. So that would only mean one thing. And this was that one thing. Wow. Holy. Yo, Duran. Look, my boy, I'm sorry. Wow, dog. Look at the concentration. Hey, that ball's out of Yankee Stadium for real. Boy, look at the concentration by Jaron Duran. You have replayed as many times you want. Look at Bale. That, that's me. That is me. So we got bottom four and... What do, you, what do you think the Yankees are talking about in this huddle right now? Uh, comment down below what you think the Yankees are talking about in this huddle because I think it's probably where they're going out to dinner or how much runs they're going to give up in this inning and then, uh, you know, the, the festivities that are going to take place after. Or maybe who's getting traded? Somebody's getting traded in that huddle right here. Somebody. All right, so there's bases loaded. Wait, what happened? Wait, what happened? Catcher's interference. So last game we had a balk in run. Now it's catcher's interference. Wait, let's see. Oh my gosh. Yo, it tipped his glove. That's crazy. Listen, like I said last game, the Yankees will teach you twenty four going on twenty five. And my voice is still cracking. This is this is bad. Anyway. The Yankees will teach you what not to do. Bottom five. Bases loaded again for the future. Oh, yeah. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. That's, oh, ground rule double. I thought, I thought it was a homer, but that wouldn't have made sense because we won. 4-1. So we go to the top of the seventh. Willie Calhoun representing the tying run with men on first and second. Mmm, Babeo gassing him up. Next, McKinney. 
Oh, it's goes. Bowers. Uh, I don't know. Ooh. That boy Bayo fired up. Let's go, Obama, no cone, yo. Haven't said that in a minute. So we go top nine and Kenley Jansen. This is a save opportunity. Who would have thought? Man on first. For what do you know? Volpe. And he gets out again. Kenley gets him swinging. Sox win 4-1. Happy Father's Day. Because the Red Sox have been sunning these Yankees. Um, I want to read a quote that uh, Nestor Cortez said before this series start. And I quote, It doesn't feel like what we have with Tampa right now. Or with Toronto now. You could argue that the Red Sox haven't been who they really are the last couple years. Well... Nestor, uh, looks like the Yankees haven't been either because that same Red Sox team <laughs> just beat y'all, what, five out of six? I mean, look, I'm taking it because our expectations are World Series this year. <laughs> Y'all's work, and based off the way y'all played in these three games, I don't even know if you're sniffing the second round of the playoffs. I mean, 25 to eight in three games. You got anything to say, my boy? You got anything to say? Nah, Swimington, Swimington, let the let the Sox speak for themselves. Once again, happy Father's Day. It's been your boy Jay Banksy and Swimington, and we'll see you when we see you. Peace.